the stars. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. As you can see, I'm currently in the car park at Manchester Airport. We're about to go in the airport to fly to Iceland, which is super exciting. I feel like this is a bucket list place. Chester and I, Chester's my boyfriend if you're new around here. We're kind of winging it. We booked this like two weeks ago, very last minute. Have a few plans while we're there. Not loads of things booked in, so we're really just gonna take the days as they come. Fly at 11 today, and then once we arrive, we've got the rest of today, and then two more full days. I mean, it's a short trip, got plenty of time to explore. Really excited to see what Iceland has to offer. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to be warming up in the clothes they've got. We're only taking hand luggage if you've watched my pack with me. We've got most of our layers on that we want to wear. We checked in online so that process should be really simple. Just need to head through security and then enjoy the airport and head to Iceland. I really hope you'll enjoy watching this vlog and we're just super super excited. So yeah let's head into the airport and head to Iceland. So excited. Let's go. What wonder. Gets undressed when it's cold And don't they miss the leaves they left behind Could it be to make the ground shine like gold Exit to Iceland, Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> so windy out there <laughs> So windy out there Wind swept really nice it's like home away from home oh it's such a nice decor in here with everything and this is the bathroom i think yeah oh this is nice in here i yeah, love in here decor so nice look at that sink wow and then we've got a shower some little amenities the towels are nice that bed looks very inviting we've made it we've arrived to a very windy Iceland it is absolutely blowing a gale out there. We've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that this evening we're supposed to be going on a Northern Lights tour and yeah we've had an email saying that that isn't going ahead because of the weather basically. It says it's not like favourable conditions for it to happen in so I feel like um we knew that this was obviously a possibility. There's kind of two possibilities. One the tour doesn't happen at all because of like inclement weather it's not raining at the moment but i think it's probably forecast rain tonight but it as i say it's like insanely insanely windy and the second thing is obviously if you do go on the tour then there's no guarantee of actually seeing the northern lights so yeah the tour that we booked you are able to rebook another night if you can't do the tour like if the tour isn't running then you can book it again at the next night if you go on the tour and you don't see the northern lights I don't think you can rebook it then. We're only here for two nights. So we've got tonight and tomorrow. So we have rebooked it for tomorrow night. Fingers crossed. We will be able to go on it. And then also fingers crossed, we'll be able to actually see the Northern Lights. But if not, the good news is that we managed to secure a tour that we'd really wanted to do. Um, but when we were looking at booking stuff, you couldn't do it for tomorrow. And tomorrow's our only full day. And therefore was the only day we could do this tour because of the amount of hours it takes. But Chester was just having a little look in the airport at different things and what we could do. Um, and it came available. You could book it, which... I don't know if that's like a last minute cancellation or what. But yeah, so we're going on this amazing, it sounds absolutely amazing tour tomorrow. So it starts at like 8.30 I think. They pick us up at 8.30 and then we go on this full day tour. Is it 10 hours, Tress? Yeah. Yeah, 10 hour tour. We do like the full golden circle and then we're going snowmobiling on a glacier. Which is kind of a little bit wild and mad and kind of unexpected as well because we just kind of said we won't be able to do that the tour isn't available and now we're doing it we've got tomorrow to look forward to which is fantastic um and then obviously we can try and go on the northern lights tour tomorrow night which is going to be a very busy day because that won't start until 8 30 if it does go ahead we're going to have a long day tomorrow i guess when you come to iceland and what you read online before you come is everybody just kind of says in a way 
don't set your expectations too high for what you may or may not be able to do a lot of it is weather dependent it's about three o'clock now i think yeah it's about three o'clock now so we're gonna just head out into Reykjavik we're staying at a place called the sand hotel it's beautiful i just showed you around our room it's a really nice spacious room i feel like it was a really good price as well it's a really beautiful room so love love the decor in here very me but this hotel one of the biggest perks i saw online when I was reading up about it not only is it beautiful interiors but also the location of it very 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 central um Reykjavik like downtown area shops bars restaurants so we don't know what to expect but that's what I've read so we're just gonna head out now do some exploring but where the car dropped us off to come here um we could kind of have a little peek and I don't know what it's called I can never remember the name of it but the big like kind of iconic church in Iceland is literally just at the top of this street. So we're kind of on the main street in Iceland. If you know Iceland or done research about it, you'll be much more clued up. So I'm gonna head out, do some exploring. It's getting dark already. Probably got maybe half an hour left of daylight and then it'll be dark. There's so many Christmas trees up in the airport and I feel like they've got the lights up and it's a bit Christmassy and festive. So like we're just gonna have the most amazing magical trip. I can't wait to take you along with us, but let's head into Reykjavik. Well, we're already in Reykjavik. Let's head out and see um, what there is to see and we'll just take the evening as it comes but as i say because we don't have the northern lights tour now we've kind of got a free evening to just peruse explore see what we want to do and yeah we'll take you with us and wherever we end up we end up ready yeah let's go i've got a mirror i can actually show you my outfits i'm not sure how good the lighting is and i'm all a bit skew from the plane but i've just got basically warmth on um <laughs> but i've got a h&m like jumper on underneath just a high neck jumper basically everything's from h&m um h&m coat this is new in so you can definitely get this this is so warm i've been warming it all day already and it's got a nice it's got a nice big hood as well in case it does rain later. I've got my H&M leggings on and my Prada like snow boot things. I think just any kind of boots, walking boots, comfortable boots is best. Let's waste no more time and get out there and explore a bit. About to leave, I that is my type of shop, Christmas shop. I've got such cute little stores. I feel like I'm in one of those really cheesy Christmas films. I feel like when they move away and restart their life. That is literally what I feel like I am. What, that big? Whoa. Like so cute. I might need that. A good old H&M. So cute around here. Sorry, I'm gonna probably say I'm windswept permanently in this video. The first stop, we're heading to the oh, penis museum. Yeah. You don't want to go to the penis museum? Yeah, come on. Is it free or do you have to pay? The Icelandic Phallological Museum. There we go. Into the penis museum. Can get a sponge willy. You can get willy pasta. A willy bottle over. I feel like I've seen that before somewhere. Yeah, so how long the house? No, we shall not. A willy frying pan. You can put your egg in, in it and get the shape of a willy. Willy ice cubes. Yeah, a rosette for the biggest willy. We just had the most hectic walk here. It was literally blowing a gale. <laughs> so that was interesting. I don't think many people work here. So we've come to a place called Fly Over Iceland and it's like an experience. I'm not really sure what. I think you go on a ride, a bit like Soarin' at Disney World. It's a bit of like a motion ride and you see all like the pictures of Iceland and things. We've got our tickets. We're still very much getting used to the currency. We've just got a snack. I went for donut chest. got a chocolate muffin and we've got two hot chocolates as well. But yeah, excited for this. It's got really good reviews online. Um, it was a little bit, they look nice. Look at all the spoon. Yes, please, they look gorgeous. It was a little bit spontaneous, but we're here now after a bit of a slog of a walk. Um, and yeah, we've got until, we've got until 5.15 when our like session is. And I believe it's a 35 minute experience and you spend about eight or nine minutes on the ride. How's it? Good? Yeah. 
it looks really good actually. So we're going up to start the experience now. I literally have no idea how much we'll be able to film. Probably not that much. Um, but if we can, obviously I'll get anything on film and we'll let you know how it is after. No photography or filming, so we'll catch you after. That's cute. So we've just finished up, we're always spitting a little bit. We've just finished up at the flyover Iceland. It was so, so good. I hope you can hear me. Um, it was so good. If you've been to Disney, <laughs> there's no, I'll have to catch, I'll have to catch you about this later. It's way too windy. Greeting you from the same chair this morning. We have just been down for some breakfast. It was really good, just like kind of a continental Icelandic type breakfast. Just pastries, yogurt, muesli, granola, that kind of thing. But it was really good. It's included in the hotel, so that's great because we needed a little bit of fuel and sustenance for the day ahead. And we probably wouldn't have had time or made time to go and get breakfast otherwise. Really handy, it's all included. We literally just got dressed, got my coat on, ready to head out the door. Just doing a quick update before we head off um, because I literally have no idea how much I'll be able to film today or how many people will be around and what we'll be able to film. All being well, we've had no notification otherwise, even though the weather still isn't great outside, um, but it's not like torrential like it was yesterday. So we haven't had notification otherwise. So the plan is that we are walking to one of the bus stops near the hotel and we're getting picked up by a super jeep i believe which are really good for off-roading and things and then we are heading on a golden circle tour it's actually called a pearl tour i'll leave it below who we booked it with and i'll let you know how it is later but it's called a pearl tour and you get the golden circle tour plus snowmobiling on the glacier goodness knows how this is going to go today it is going to be such an adventure hopefully the weather is okay i'm sure it's going to be cold in parts even if it's not wet rainy and drizzly and windy but a little rucksack with us for the day it does say that you can bring snacks and drinks and things but we just don't have any um and obviously been here such a short time just haven't like gone to any supermarkets or anything like that um so we should be fine and it says that we stop at two cafes i believe throughout the day so we should be able to pick up food and stuff along the way but yeah we need to head off now because the bus 4x4 jeep thing is picking us up at half past eight i think and it's probably about 10 past now let me very quickly show you my outfit before we go same h&m co i'll just be wearing this all the time now today i'm braving it with a base layer which is also h&m and i wear this all the time at home it's got some holes as well so it keep my hands nice and warm and then i've got my h&m black leggings on but i've also got a pair of thermal fleece lined tights on underneath i'm hoping that they're gonna keep me warm yesterday with all like the walking because we were rushing and things because it was so wet and windy. I was actually really warm. I was just very wet. Um, 
So I'm hoping today's gonna be similar and obviously we'll be action packed moving and I feel like for a lot of the time we're gonna be actually on the bus slash super jeep. I feel like it should be relatively sheltered and warm quite a bit of the day, but literally have no idea what to expect, just making an assumption. So yeah, I'll take you along on what we can and then update you later. What an exciting day we've got ahead, such a big adventure, real, real bucket list moment this. So let's go have some fun. Don't forget to light the candles Chase the shadows with those bright lights Keep the warmth up through the cold nights Let the children play with gifts and dreidels Share these moments with my loved ones I can see the light reflecting in their eyes to the first of night celebrate a miracle so we've come to our first stop on the tour and we've come to Gulfoss so this is like the panoramic view of Gulfoss waterfall sorry if I'm getting any of these facts wrong right by the way but this is just my understanding the lighting here is so gorgeous the sun just peeping up over there and we're heading down to the viewpoint track down to the viewpoint of Gulfoss. There's like glacier mountains in the distance which we're going up to next for snowmobiling which is mega exciting. It's taken about an hour and a half from Reykjavik to get here um, but we were on this big super jeep. It's absolutely ginormous. This super jeep is amazing. So far amazing. We have like an hour to privately just like explore as well which is great. Oh, yeah, you can go that close. Literally, you can go that close. You can get really, really close to it. Just got time to explore, get a drink, go to the toilet, and then head back on to the next stop. The, no, the camera doesn't do it justice at all because there's so much like steam and mist coming off it. Amazing now. So we're heading up to the cafe, restrooms, that kind of thing, and then in about 20 minutes or so we'll be getting back on the super jeep. That was incredible. The scenery is so amazing. It like literally takes your breath away. So beautiful, isn't it? Literally amazing. You can see the glaciers and snow mountains in the distance. Honestly incredible. super jeep it's massive ice 8 the number plate look at the size of those wheels pretty mad yeah let's get on board
Mark. Just eins. Icelandic meatballs for lunch. Chess has got a ham and cheese panini. So it's a really nice place by the ge uh, by the geyser, I think it's called. Geyser as we would say. Yeah. We're gonna talk into some lunch and then I think the tour continues. So we've come to another stop point. I'm looking a little bit bedraggled. Um, that's even a word. But we are stood here on the edge of the American tectonic plate. So here is the edge of the American tectonic plate. And then the European one starts across the lake, I believe. for Santa in there. Have you posted your letters to Santa? There's actually cute little letters in there. Wow, what a day we have had. It's been absolutely amazing. I don't even know where to begin and I can't really remember how much vlogging I did today or what you've kind of seen, but it was so, so good and so worth it. So we booked that so last minute. As I said before, I think we wanted to do it. That was kind of the plan, but then we couldn't get on it. And it was a really small group on, how many was there? Maybe eight? Was there eight to 10, maybe? We were wondering whether it was because maybe someone had pulled out and then the space became available for two people. We set off from Reykjavik in this super Jeep thing. It was absolutely incredible. It was huge and it had the coolest number plate, which was Ice 8. And then we headed to Gullfoss which is basically an amazing waterfall, which I think I updated you and the vlog there. From there, we headed up to the glaciers. We headed properly off like the beaten track. He could actually deflate the tires from inside to make it softer so the bumpy road didn't seem like so rough, which was incredible. So it was a really comfortable ride. Yeah, we headed to this like little hut in the middle of nowhere. We were provided with snowsuits, gloves, um, you could get like shoe coverings, but because we had had suitable like snow boots boots things on they were fine without balaclava snooty type things um, and helmets and then we got back on at like the super jeep thing and we headed up further up to the actual glacier so basically just to find where the good proper snow is and the snowmobiles were waiting for us so we had this like really quick instruction demonstration thing he kind of just like whizzed through it and at the time we were thinking we were going on the same snowmobile we'd only paid for one you could pay extra to have a snowmobile each um but otherwise you go on as a duo so we just thought we would share i was like i don't know what it'll be like i said we'll probably be able to swap anyway which you could you could swap at the halfway point one of you could drive there one of you could drive back so we got all set up i got on, we got on the snowmobile together and there were some spare snowmobiles and they were like we need them filling so they came over and they were like do you want to split and go separately i just was like 
just go for it, like do it. And then at this point I was like panicking because I'd psyched myself up not for doing it on my own, certainly not at first until we kind of knew what we were doing. I mean, it's not like the hardest thing in the world, but the steering is quite difficult and you have to like lean with the snowmobile. And I was hoping that Chester would kind of show me the ropes on the way there and then I could do it on the way back. But no, we were thrown in at the deep end. So then we were on our own snowmobile, which was amazing. I kind of loved and hated it at the same time, especially on the way there. So we went, we kind of, like snowmobiled across a glacier and then we ended up at this ice cave which was a really cool experience went right underneath the snow into this big ice cave and then set a picture that we had taken and i don't know if i got the vlog out because inside the ice cave was pretty much pitch black but there were a few little lights and a few little torches and things but you couldn't really pick up much on the camera but it was literally an ice cave like just completely ice like carved out really cool experience like basically just going underneath the snow anyway i was saying on the way was a little bit stressful um and i didn't really enjoy it that much there was two issues number one is that my steering was really stiff i don't know if i was doing it wrong but it was constantly pulling one away and it made it really hard. But the other thing was that they had mentioned something, which was that the handlebars and the acceleration that you press with your foot, with your thumb, was heated. And he said you might need to turn it down. But when I was going, mine was getting so hot, and I was worried that it was like properly overheating, to the point which this like accelerator was burning my thumb like it's feeling better now but it was when i got off it was like blistered like i'd burnt it um and i tried turning it down it didn't really seem to make any difference so i just assumed that it was like meant to be like that even though it was so hot it was literally like when you get a pan out of the oven and you touch it by accident it was that hot like so i couldn't keep my thumb on the accelerator for too long i kept having to release and i was wearing a glove so it was burning through the glove which is mad um and then when we stopped at the end i was like to Justin, was yours burning and he was like no it was when i got on and i turned it all the way down and then it wasn't and i was like oh my god i should have done that i tried but anyway a bit stressed let's say but the way back was so much more enjoyable when i'd kind of like got into the group knew what i was doing away we went like that was so much fun you could really put your thumb on the accelerator and you shot off it was really scary actually you just kind of like on this you know open snowmobile i don't know if you've done snowmobiling before but i've not and it was nothing like i've ever experienced before it just kind of slipping and sliding all over the snow but also just like going super fast and it was so fun, wasn't it, Tress? You really loved it. It was so good. Yeah, we are both really tired now. Because um, it's been a long day. We've been up since about 6am, half 6. And the day is not over yet because we are about to head out on another tour this evening. We have our Northern Lights tour, which again was a bit of a story. I don't want to tell too many stories and make this vlog all stories. But basically, we booked it with one company um which is who had to cancel it because of the weather yesterday immediately as we landed we knew it was cancelled so before we even got to the hotel and then we tried to rebook it and it, the system wouldn't let us rebook it so Chester immediately sent an email to them asking to rebook it for tonight obviously this is our only other night basically they just haven't replied um and then i think was it they either replied today or you went back onto the booking system can't remember which one it was but it's now full we have been able to book another one with a different tour company i think it's more expensive because it's a little bit more of a premium tour i think don't really know what we're getting ourselves in for but we'll see we didn't know today either and it was incredible so i'm sure it'll be amazing um and just fingers crossed we actually see them but yeah it was a bit of a shame with the other tour company because if you're here a bit longer you've got plenty more opportunity to rebook on so would 100 percent say book it for your first night if for whatever reason you can't go because of the weather or whatever it is they cancel it you can rebook it another night of your holiday and then if something like this happens where it's fully booked the next night you can go the next night so on so on we either book with someone else or we don't go at all um, and obviously when you rebook it, it is a risk and it is a risk going on Northern Lights tour because there is literally zero guarantee of seeing them. Like you just don't know. So yeah, we could go, we've paid a lot of money to go on another tour. We could go and then end up 
not seeing them but i'm not going to be negative i'm going to manifest it and say that we are going to see them so we're heading out now we've literally just had maybe an hour or so in the room just resting recuperating trying to recuperate some energy to go again we have had a lot of sweet stuff today um like hot chocolates and cookies and muffins to try and just boost a little bit of sugar and energy but yeah it does definitely take it out of you but so worth it and so much fun he also said the tour guide that the glacier we went on is the second biggest one in iceland and it's basically the middle point it marks the middle point of iceland so we've traveled from like the coast where Reykjavik is right into the middle of iceland so we obviously haven't done the whole island but we've done quite a lot of it and to say it's been one day we're on like a two and a half day trip um i really don't think that's bad going so if you're wanting more of a condensed action-packed short but sweet and very efficient effective see everything kind of trip i would highly recommend doing that tour it was absolutely incredible so we're heading to the bus stop now just having a brisk walk such lovely streets around us. I had a little look at a paper map before we went. I'm pretty sure I know where we are. Everything so far super easy to find. We've not had any issues and absolutely loving the streets of Reykjavik. Came out to wait for our tour 45 minutes ago. It's freezing. Either Chester got the wrong time, they're not turning up, or they're running late, but Fingers crossed, fingers crossed around the way because it's a little bit chilly and we've been waiting here a very long time. Yeah. Yay. Good morning from a very tired Chloe and Chester. We are flagging this morning. Um, and that's because we were we were up super late last night. I think we ended up getting back about two-ish, half one, two-ish in the morning um, on the hunt for the Northern Lights. Disappointingly, we didn't see much, but we did see something, which is kind of a positive, I think. Um, I think they've had quite a lot of unsuccessful nights in november so far just as this year goes october was successful but yeah november so far hasn't been so successful for seeing them so we technically saw them but the lights weren't very strong so you couldn't see them that well to the eye you could only see like very faint like glimmer and line um and they kept kind of teasing us and getting a little bit stronger and then a little bit fainter but we had a professional photographer guy with us who was the guide person and he was taking pictures on like a special camera setting that shows them up which is basically how he knew whether they were there or not so we moved several locations different times um and they definitely showed up on the camera so i believe that we are getting a picture of the two of us with the very kind of the very faint northern lights in the background but on the camera they showed up so much better than you could ever see them with the eye which is a bit mad i think technically we saw them um but obviously they weren't the best sighting but it's better than nothing i guess yeah we were out we stood there you just literally stand there for like hours just looking at the sky hoping that they're gonna appear I'm gonna head down for some breakfast then head into Reykjavik again just explore literally outside of the hotel um i think we're gonna walk up to the church again which i think i showed yesterday on the vlog it's incredible i think we're gonna try and go up it so we'll just see um, what happens there and then this afternoon we're heading to the blue lagoon before we head to the airport so, so yeah we're going to check out head across to the blue lagoon and then head straight from there to the airport so we're going to spend a few hours there this afternoon which will hopefully be relaxing recuperating a bit more of a relaxing chilled one where we can rest our feet and our bodies and just relax and unwind before we go home honestly yesterday was just so much fun one of the best days we probably ever had on holiday so iceland has a lot to offer um but yeah let's go explore a little bit more and get some breakfast first such a cute little bakery outside the hotel it's raining again today 
We were lucky with the weather last night as well because it didn't rain. Yeah. And they've been saying for the next three days they forecast bad weather, so they're not basically going to do any Northern Lights tours. We were kind of lucky that we saw anything um, and that we even got to go. I love you. You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't this is exactly what we like went on yesterday. They're quite big, aren't they? So we just want to get in this elevator to go up to the top of the church. It was 2,400 ISK, not 2,400, but 2,400 ISK, which I'm not sure what the conversion is in pounds. Yeah, 20 pounds. see where that lake is there we just walked near there walked up the street it's quite compact it's all within walking distance Of shop, so lovely. I've got the colours, it's very me. And it has a nice little branding thing on it, so it's a lovely little memorabilia and actually really practical. So we had a wonderful explore and a little walk around Reykjavik this morning, went up to the church, that was so cool, and we just happened to be there literally like a few minutes before 11, so the bells struck for 11, which were so loud like in the top bell tower, but it was really cool. We're literally just checking out of our room now and heading um to the blue lagoon getting a coach across 45 minutes it's quite close to the airport so it does work out really well to go there and then go to the airport after i think it's like 15 20 minutes to the airport from the blue lagoon so yeah we're heading out of our lovely room the bed has been so comfortable and we've both been out literally like a light switch so i mean we've had very adventurous days but still a comfy bed was definitely needed and it has also the location of this hotel has been incredible i honestly couldn't recommend it anymore it's a beautiful boutique hotel the decor and everything is gorgeous but the location is amazing you literally step right out of the hotel onto basically the main kind of street in Reykjavik it's great it's absolutely amazing so we've had such a good time and it's not too big you can kind of explore everywhere on foot really easily anywhere it's not too much i mean it's even better when you literally step out of your hotel and it's there bye to our lovely room it's been great loved it and yeah let's head across to the blue lagoon i've read online that it's supposed to be really good for ailments and muscle aches and pains and i feel like that is what we need right now. So yeah, we just got our pictures through from last night that they took. But yeah, he was really strict. He was like, there's gonna be a flash and then you need to stay 
perfectly still for like at least 10 seconds and i know that doesn't sound long but to stay in your pose without moving an inch in the freezing cold is is actually quite tricky so they've come out cool and as i said before i think you can really see the northern lights in the background great little memory captured i feel like this is a really iconic experience so i'm very excited to have a little relaxing swim spa afternoon and hopefully sort out some of these muscle aches because the snowmobiling has taken out of my arms if you've got more of a like, premium package. I don't know how well you can see me, but we are just heading to a car to take us to the airport. <sighs> the Blue Lagoon was delightful. I feel like I'm losing light, so I'll catch up soon, but such an amazing experience. 